We all think about it from time to time. What would we do if we won the lottery? Everyone dreams of being... I did when I found you, Hobie. <laughs> Everyone dreams of being rich, but most people think it could never happen to them. Well, self-made millionaire Steve Siebold says anyone can hit life's jackpot and start earning a fortune right now. He tells you how to get started in that quest in his new book called How Rich People Think. Steve, Steve, Steve. Hi. Steve, nice to see you. <laughs> how are you? Cody's Good. taking umbrage with you, Steve. Let's just get it out there, <laughs> shall right. we? No, I don't. Let's do it. No, you're talking about how it's sort of a mindset, because I know... People who are watching and other people at home are working double shifts and They're long. Struggling. And you're saying that being rich is all about what's in your in your brain and your mindset and how you think. And that may be a tough pill for a lot of people to swallow. Yeah, it really starts with the way you think. It's really yeah. about seeing money through the eyes of abundance and freedom and and just unlimited opportunity as opposed to fear and scarcity. I think that's where most of us are trained and kind of brainwashed, if you will, to think about money. Tell us, give us an example of that. How does a rich pe person look at money? What do they see? They see lots of it. And just mm -hmm. available out mm -hmm. there in the universe? It's everywhere, especially with the recession. We have total chaos in the economy all over the world, so, world economy. So they see opportunity. They see opportunity because there's all these problems. Okay. Because where there's chaos, there's opportunity to solve problems. And to what make does money. a struggling person see? Well, I think more fear. Well, what if I can't get a job? Yeah. What if I lose my job? What if I get a pay? You know, if I if yeah, I get fired. But how do you get off? over the fear? I, it's a it's a big leap. I think you've got to expand your consciousness of your thinking by getting around how rich people think. That's why I wrote the book, honestly. Okay, so if I'm a person, I'm working a job, I'm barely able to pay my bills, and and people are saying save money, and I know that there's not money to save. I don't have. I'm just barely making it. How is that person supposed to take something from your book? What should they be doing? I would say focus on earning. Saving is great, but if you're making fifty thousand dollars a year. How much can you save? Much to save. You're never going to you're gonna live to be 300 years old to be rich. I mean, okay. you focus so on earning. That's what the wealthy then do. Then how can they earn if they can't get a good job? Well, because looking for problems to solve. I mean, there's three million millionaires in the United States alone, right? They are the biggest buyer of personal services and products in the world. So, so, so become indispensable in some way to somebody? Absolutely. We'll help them. I mean, you could, you could start a pool service, a lawn care service, a network marketing business, a real estate business, an insurance, anything. You know mm -hmm. what it just said? It just shut, I'm going to bring it on Monday. Is my mm -hmm. favorite thing. My friend Jackie, who does my nails, mm -hmm. her family, they have, um, they're an amazing Italian family with the greatest sauce in the world. They started their own restaurant and, and, and foods now called Wise Guys, and it's fantastic. Oh, and they, and yeah. they're making a, a new living at it's it. It's the story of America. This yeah. is what built this country. I'm going to bring you the sauce on Monday. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no wine, but sauce. Yeah. No, yeah, no. <laughs> different kind of sauce. I like the wine better. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, no like sauce for a month. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's no sauce. <laughs> what can other people, what are some other things that people can do? Um, just practical takeaway things. You say saving is impractical because you really can't do it. You say look for a job that fits into someone else's world that you can make some money off of. But what's something else someone could take away and do? Well, I would look at your skill sets. Look at your education, your passions, your interests, and then say, what problem could I solve with the skills, passions, and interests that I currently have? Uh -huh. And then look to those problems and see if you can if you can start a business or start a service company and it's solving those problems. It's really that simple. It's not complicated. But are you really saying if, you th if I think I'm a failure, I will be a failure. Absolutely. And there's, there's yeah. the value of positive thinking, mm -hmm. it, it is important. Sure. Your mindset no, is, is important. Okay. Even though Hoda doesn't no, like you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I like your fine, Steve. Yeah. Right. Steve, thank you very, thank you, very Steve. much. Thanks, All right.